Hello friends, we're back again exploring correlational analysis and in this little video we're going to look at taking the data set which we produced and extracted from the, um, from the IPEDS data site and putting it into SPSS and running a simple bivariate correlation. So we're going to explore SPSS and let's get started. Now SPSS as you know is an advanced statistical package it can do very, very complex analyses. Uh, we're just going to do the process by which one does simple correlational bivariate analysis. We will find the Pearson R correlation coefficient for our data set for in-district tuition and local tax revenue. We very likely will go ahead and just glance at how the Pearson R stacks up against uh, the non-parametric design such as a Kindle or a Spearman which will be very easy to do it all while we're at it in SPSS. This video examines the importation of the Excel data set into SPSS uh, setting up that data set as an SPSS data set and then we will conduct the analysis. Now remember that the Pearson R requires that the two variables be normally distributed. We will assume that they are normally distributed for the purposes of just uh, playing with SPSS and doing this research. Later on in this course uh, down the road when we really get into the non-parametric designs we will look at methodologies for uh, examining a data set to see if it is normally distributed. This exercise will involve the following steps. We're going to design the SPSS data sheet uh, we're going to import uh, the data into SPSS, we're going to conduct a correlational analysis to find the Pearson R, and we're going to conduct a non-parametric correlational analysis to compare uh, values. We will uh, look at two distinct uh, non-parametric designs before we finish. Now what we will do is pull up the data set that we developed a while back when we extracted all of the information from the IPEDS and you can see here we have the community colleges listed we did 2011 and we did tuition and tax revenue if you would allow me now to copy those the, that data from tuition and tax revenue I will prepare to put that in SPSS then to demonstrate for you how that one goes about doing a, uh, a, uh, a correlational bivariate correlational analysis now I've copied that data, so what I'm going to do is go over here to SPSS. You notice down here at the bottom there's data view and then there's variable view. I want to go to variable view. My first one is tuition and my second one is tax, re tax revenue. We can't leave a, re leave a space in it. And I want to do a little work with those. My tax revenue, I'm going to make it about 12 spaces wide. Then I'm going to make certain that none of these have any uh, decimals in them. And we will go here and see if I can't copy the, uh, there we go. So you see what I have done is I have copied that data into SPSS. And you notice how easy that was done. I could manipulate it in Excel. Now I'm going to go up here and accept analyze. Look down the list, reports, descriptives, compare means. But I'm looking for correlations. There's a correlation and bivariate correlation. That means that I'm going to examine two variables, bivariate. So we're doing a simple bivariate correlation. I will select that. This screen comes up. I will highlight tuition and tax revenue. Move them in there. Now notice it's automatically a Pearson. But that's a, that is a parametric design, assuming they're normally distributed. Let's also select a Kindle and a Spearman. We will go up here to options and we want to see the means and the standard deviations. Those are the descriptives that we ask for. This test of significance is just something we're not using right now because if we wanted to do a comparative study, we would probably do that with a t-test or a non-parametric design such as Man Whitney U. So we select OK. Here we go now. It's come up with our correlations. Notice that we have a table called Descriptive Statistics now. Tuition, revenue, the mean tuition was 1,475. The mean tax revenue was a, a, about a million dollars. 63 of them in tuition, 62 in tax revenue. 
we have correlations. The Pearson correlation is a negative uh, 1.93. I challenge you to go out and look at that. Is that a weak correlation? It's a negative correlation, which means that the, the higher tax revenue goes, the lower tuition becomes. But is that a uh, strong correlation? Is that a moderate correlation? Or is that a weak to no correlation? I would speculate with you that that's a weak negative correlation. And that's, that's the uh, Pearson R correlation, negative 1.93. Notice that we also ran a Kindles. And the non-parametric Kindles said it's a negative 1.159. And interestingly enough, the Spearman's row said that it was a negative 0.231. I want you to notice how easy it is to go in, translate that data set from uh from Excel, move it into SPSS, set it up, and then run your analyses. I hope that you have enjoyed this. Well, friends, I know that I ran through that very briefly, but I wanted to take you into SPSS and then give you opportunity to see how it works without spoon feeding it. Now, I want you to go in SPSS, set up you some data, play with it, and enjoy the process. It is really a cool piece of software. Again, I thank you very much for your support. Live long and prosper. Peace and long life. You have a great blessed day.